In this short movie we will take a look at assembly configurations in SOLIDWORKS and how they are managed in DDM. Assembly configurations can be used for a number of purposes. We might hide components in a configuration to aid clarity or to make it easier to work on part of an assembly. In this example we are going to make assembly variants by suppressing components in the assembly. We have a valve panel open with three solenoid valves mounted and we want to make some design variants, one with two valve stations and another one with just one. To create configurations and assembly configurations we open the configuration manager tab. And now we can right click to add a new configuration. On the first configuration we give it a temporary name and it will be renamed once stored to DDM. We can also add a description and finally we select the option to show the configuration name in bills of materials. We add another configuration in the same way. And now with our configurations created, we choose which components should be suppressed in each configuration. Once we have finished defining the new configurations, we use the PDM Integrator menu option to save all configurations back to DDM. This is the default configuration and we give it a description and we use the auto numbering tool to give the configuration a name. And now we work through the two configuration instances, again giving them a description and a name. The temporary names we used when defining the configurations will be updated as part of the save progress. If we return to DDM, under our recent items, we can see the three files, the default configuration and the two named configurations. If we check the DDM bill of materials, we can see that the valve quantities are correctly populated for the two design variants. Firstly, the panel with the two valves, and secondly, the assembly with one valve station.